This episode is brought to you by our friends at Chachi Plays for Kids. Find out how you can participate and donate. ChachiPlays.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the all new and all different Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play. Uh, I'm Bobby F. J. Town, and uh, joining us this week we have Riz. Say hi, Riz. Hi. Hi, everybody. Along Myself? with Chachi. Swag. And Sorgatron <laughs> on the ones and twos. Yes, I am. I'm, 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 I'm going to be a part of this now. Yay, Yay. Sorg. Yay. Hey. Uh, we start off by uh, with our same question we do every time. Uh, what have you been playing? Okay. Uh, Riz. Uh, let's see. Besides Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, I've been playing... Call of Duty Black Ops 2. <laughs> <laughs> and but but seriously, I've been playing Hitman Absolution still mm. still a very very fun game, but it's really difficult at times, but it's still very fun. And you guys should buy it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Buy it now. Not not now. We're, we're on now. But afterwards go go buy it. You listen to this. Buy it. Buy, buy the game. After gotcha. after after listening to us, then go buy the game. Jaji, what have you been playing? Well, I uh, I decided recently after unlocking the gold camo on my Scar H in Call of Duty Black Ops Two, uh, that I decided that I'm gonna get the diamond camo for the assault rifles. Because Jaji so, is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops Two. Uh, I currently have two of the seven assault rifles done completely. I was there when he unlocked the diamond camo. <laughs> no, the gold you camo. You saw it. You saw it with your own eyes. Yes, I did. It was amazing. No, you got me the gold. You you were there when I unlocked the gold camo. I haven't. Done oh, was it the gold? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. In order to get the diamond, you have to unlock gold for every gun in the oh, category. Wow. Mm. So, I, I have uh, two assault rifles completely done. Uh, a third just about ready. So. Yeah. Wow. Sorg, what have you been playing? Uh, Black Ops. Like, to the point where I have not been playing even, like, iPhone games because it's been so crazy. Uh, it's just been... <laughs> <laughs> it is downtime. The wife picks up Black Ops because she started playing, I think, be- since last time you joined us. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a, it, it's been all Black, so- Black Ops all the time in this household. So, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. I don't see the problem. No, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's definitely not a problem. I'm getting my money's worth out of that damn game, that's for sure. Uh, that was gifted to me. So, excellent. Well, so, oh, go ahead, sir. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I'm done. I'm oh, done. Okay. I was going to say, You're well, done. surprise, surprise, I've been also playing Black Ops 2. Um, I downloaded the new maps, took a, a spin through them the other day. Um, they're, they're pretty good. Um, okay. I think the, the hydro plant's going to be the best one. Mm-hmm. Uh, along with the skate park, because they're more confined maps. Um, there's a damn winter level again, which those always suck. But this one looks a little better. It looks more modern, and not just like a barren wasteland. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like a ski resort. Well, um, and are, are you the, also going to? I'm sorry. Are you also going to tell us about the, the what I see uh, popped up on your Twitter feed just now that you've played Words with Friends in, in two other games in the last 24 hours? Oh yeah, I played Words with, <laughs> Word with Friends. <laughs> your raptor betray, betrays yeah. you, sir. My, my raptor is uh, my my dad played uh, Red De- Red Dead Redemption, which nice. I'm like yeah. above elite on that game now, nice because nice. of my dad playing it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question about Black Ops? Because uh, you're you're the first one I know that has done this. Um, well, first, did you get the season pass? No, no, no. You you get you're, you're, pass. you're getting them bit by bit. Yeah, I'm because so. usually what we ha- what we do is we buy the first map packs and then everybody stops playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I'm not, I'm not falling victim to that. Well, I prestige and everybody's still playing, so at least I didn't yeah. fall into that category. Like oh, that you happened did. to me last year or lo- on, on the last game. Yeah, yeah. prestige. Everybody. Quit. I still haven't prestige in Modern Warfare Three. So four months later, we come back and I'm I'm at level one with no weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how do I play? Oh no! Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the two other games I have down that I'm playing: uh, Marvel Ultimate or Marvel Avengers Alliance again. Oh. <laughs> they brought out another spec op with Havoc as the unlockable character, along with Magneto now. You can actually play as a villain. 
So I'm I'm kind of excited about it. I'm I'm trying to unlock Magneto. It's going to be near impossible, but I'm going to try to do it. Um, and I've also been playing the Walking Dead game, which which is really good so far. Okay. Um, I'm on the first uh, first mission, but that's what I've been playing. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I you reminded me. I I did actually play something else. I got back into the uh, first episode of the Penny Arcade game. Mm-hmm. So uh, and I actually got uh, I'm starting to get the hang of it this time around. So I mean, this is my probably second or third like straight playthrough on it. So uh, That's, that, is that the one they released on the a- Xbox Indie? Uh, probably. I mean, well, they have they have three episodes of it out, and the last one was like okay. kind of eight bit or something. Um, yeah, so yeah. I, I got the first two off of Steam like a while ago when they were super cheap. Uh, <laughs> amongst my other games, I have a stack of that I've never played that were always super cheap. Um, so you know, that's kind of like that's one I'm going through, and you know, I'm going to get back to Limbo that I was playing over Christmas. You know, stuff like that. So that's a really good game. Lim- oh yeah, Limbo. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, if you ever get a chance. I mean, it's, it's like 10 15 bucks, something like that. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So, cool little creepy, creepy little platformer. So, All right, what's up next, Bobby? Uh, next is a new segment Ooh. we're calling What Should You Be Playing? Mm. Uh, I'm going to go first here. Uh, I played the Metal Gear Solid Rising demo. Uh, the game is amazing, people. There's a cat at the beginning of the demo where you just slice it up. But the cat won't die. It just does backflips away from you. <laughs> nice. I think it's like a glitch in the system, but I, it's, a really, it's, a, it's a really good action game. You can cut almost anything in the levels and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you can definitely tell it's a it's a it's a black or it's a Metal Gear Solid game because the storyline's kind of out there. But uh, it's a really good uh, demo so far. I think you should pick it up on Xbox Live. I wonder in the uh, real demos. game, Chut. Uh, Bobby, I wonder if in the real game, if you hit the cat as many times, if he does a, like a cat call, and, and then look. have like in oh, Legend of cats. Zelda, where the <laughs> where a horde of cats come Actually, over. The funny thing about that, the main boss in the demo is a robotic cat. Wow, See, it's, that's it's why you, like that's why you don't hit cats, Bobby. Metal Gear games are known for their boss battles. Um, Metal, Metal Gear uh, 3, uh, Snake Eater, some of the best boss battles I've ever played is, mm-hmm. are in that game. And I, I think uh, with Rising, I think it's going to equal the, those boss battles with the first one. It was a really good boss battle. Um, another game you should be anticipating is uh, The Last of Us, which I think Sorg has some footage mm-hmm. uh, he's going to show. Um, it's really dark, so I don't know how it's, it's going to come yeah. across. It's really dark, but it's supposed to be dark, I think, because yeah. it gives you the aura of it being a creepy... It, this game is going to be phenomenal. So this I is think. cool. I, I haven't watched this all through. The, I know you were kind of freaking out about this the other night in the Hangout there, uh, Bobby. But yeah, it, it's got that, the the, 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 light, the for anybody on audio, uh, the flashlight kind of concept. But you see stuff like like running behind you and stuff. It, it looks yeah. it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. You hear the zombies screaming uh, when you fire a gun. All the zombies like rush at you. It's really cool. Nice. So Riz, what should what should they what should everybody be playing? Well, I I got a copy of their new Game Informer, and <clears throat> if you remember me talking about how I thought um, a certain franchisey game concept would be out of here by now, mm-hmm. I'm glad they didn't yet. Because something like Marvel, Lego Marvel superheroes, oh nice, only comes around once. Yeah, I got the picture up here for you. And Bobby, you'd like this one. Who's that right there? I don't know if you can see it. Deadpool. I'm so excited. There he is, Lego right Deadpool. The Deadpool's gonna be two video games this year, and he's gonna be in Lego form. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, after this, I don't think they can go anywhere else with this game, with the franchise, unless I'm wrong. Lego Marvel vs. DC. There you go. Possible. (laughs) 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 Yeah, (laughs) face! Chris is like that surprised cat right now. That, that, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I should be playing that. But yeah, also, um, actually, I just saw this while doing... Another podcast, awesome cast on. But Slender Rising on iOS. If you haven't played Slender, 
and seeing this Slenderman come at you, you haven't played a game yet. What is it, this? Will you explain the Slend- concept real quick. Slender is a video game where you don't have any weapons. It's in the it's in very dark surroundings. So it seems and, like it's kind of like uh, Silent Hill a bit. Kind of. But when you have when you're just walking around and you see someone with a white face, oh. no eyes, no mouth, no nose and a suit that is slender in size and very tall, you run like like you run. You just or run. else you will die. Huh. Like huh. either you don't you don't fight anybody. You don't beat people up, you don't shoot anything, you just walk around hoping you don't die. <laughs> That's and, it. And when and when you do die, it's the most scariest thing because you don't see Slenderman first at first. But then once you turn around, like see how see see look at that there's Slenderman there. But then you turn around and you walk as fast as you can. But then there's Slenderman there. But the goal is not to get caught by Slenderman by picking up pieces of paper to, you know, further the story of Slenderman, of huh. Slender. Huh. And, but yeah, it's, it's, it, it, Slender is probably one of the scariest games you'll play. And if you YouTube Slender reaction videos, there's a whole bunch of them. Really? Yes. Reaction videos are awesome. Who's the game by? Uh, who is the game by? Teens react to Slender. <laughs> I, who is the game by? That's a good question. Because you I, know? I found one, but I don't know if it's the right one. <laughs> so, like, here's I watched, one. <laughs> I watched teens react to uh, the thrift shop video. I don't think that's like the same. I, I found one that says it's by... Uh, Scotty Animation. I think that's... Is it free? Yeah. That's the game I was looking at. Okay. Awesome. So that is going to be our challenge this week. Let's play Slenderman? Uh, Slender Rising or Slenderman. Or Slender. There is Slender. A, there is a, a free and $1.99 version on the iOS store. Yeah. Oh, and either, it's, either powered, one. it's powered by the Unreal Engine. Mm-hmm. On the free version, you have to pick up papers that are actually coupons for for the, for the actual game. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's still one of the most intense games. It's simple. It's just don't die. Because hmm. because it, it don't die. Don't die. It's scary. Excellent. Awesome. It, but I don't know how good it would work on a phone though. So I'm gonna try that out, and, and I'll get back to you guys. Maybe write a review for. for ICTB. Uh, Alrighty, I, I'm loading it right now. Yeah, I actually have it running right now. So, <laughs> uh, Chachi, what up? You got anything you, you're looking forward to? Uh, more Call of Duty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Again, Any uh, games not named Call of Duty? You know, I have so much going on right now that I haven't really been paying attention to much other than preparing for Chachi plays. Understood. Understandable. So, Understandable. Also, that's what I, I've been doing. Just I, because this is the segment, one game that I I just want to say out loud that's coming out is it make by the makers of my favorite game in the whole wide world, LA Noir, <laughs> is coming out with the <clears throat> you can bleep me out if you want. The Whore of the Orient. Orient. <laughs> the Horient. Is that I'm what not, it's really called? That's what it's really called. Wow. And let's see. It takes place in 1936 at Shanghai. Nice. That actually might be kind of cool. It's like called Sleeping Dogs the uh, in, back, in the time, back in the day. It's called The Whore of the Orient. That's the last time you'll hear me say that. So, was that name again? <laughs> the 
the W of the Orient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Sorg, what, what do you suggest? We, uh, you know, uh, and I know this is probably a couple months out here, um, but I, I, I saw a really good article with an interview and stuff, got a really good profile on the guys behind Bioshock Infinite, the guys behind the original mm-hmm. Bioshock. And I love the original Bioshock. Never finished it, and I, I vow I, I'm going to have to finish the first one before I even get uh, think about getting this game. I but died I, already. I watched a good... <laughs> <laughs> See, I watched a good like ten minute gameplay demo of uh, Biofoc- Bioshock Infinite, and I am completely sold on this game. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, Bioshock was always great for the atmosphere. Uh, the, you know, the really cramped, get wide open underwater uh, 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 sequences, the weird uh, stuff with all the you know patrons. Like it really felt like a living and dying world, you know. And 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 this is like more wide open and full of light and, and, and out there uh, because it's a floating city but th- it, it, it's completely sold me um, on, on just how it feels there we just got flipped off by that guy apparently um, <laughs> it, it just seems like just shoot more, him more going oh. on you know than than, yeah. than Bioshock ever did and it's not all just like kept in the shadows from what we're seeing so <laughs> so I'm looking I'm really looking forward to that and see how they kind of turn that around so. Ken um, Levine, uh, the creator of the game, said that everybody was so disappointed by how Bioshock 2 was the same. Uh, he wanted to make Bioshock Infinite so different. That's why he's like been delaying the game so much. Yeah. Because he just wants to get it perfect. Yeah. And so far, it looks perfect. <laughs> looks amazing. Looks amazing. Yeah. And, and, get, and they got a lot into the, uh, the the process of how they develop all the characters in the atmosphere and the story and the... And the, and the uh, and there's a lot of stuff where they go in and scrap it and go back and, and so that's 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 kept it too you know so um, but yeah yeah it looks it looks really really interesting and I, I'm really getting excited about it so yeah so bye cool all right our next segment uh, we like to call game swag um, we're gonna give you a heads up on uh, awesome stuff that, that uh, merchandise that you can buy uh, it's after me my. <laughs> My uh, <laughs> my pick is the Hyrule Historia, which is the complete guide to the Legend of Zelda franchise. Um, mm-hmm. It has the complete Zelda timeline finally laid out. Um, really interesting artwork and stuff like that. Um, I saw it on Amazon for about uh, I think nineteen dollars and something. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I know other other sites like Think Geek had it for sixty five, which it's sold out on there, which I don't understand. <laughs> Why you would pay sixty five dollars for something that you can get on Amazon for like twenty? But <laughs> I don't know. But sometimes all yeah. you all you do is use uh, Think Geek. Think Geek, yeah. So. But Think Geek does have some awesome stuff though. Yeah, and a lot of times you can get it cheaper on there too. Mm-hmm. But okay, um, Riz, what do you have for us this week? I got two. Oh, what? Okay, I got two swags here. Okay, and they're both from the same game. For so if you click the first link on there, okay. the first one is for thirty five dollars. If you if you ever played Mass Effect, you can you can buy those little replica Normandies or replica sh- different types of ships to put in your virtual pod. Mm-hmm. But now you can have one of the SS Norman SR one Normandy hmm. right in your home for thirty five. Dollars. They're cheaper but in the game. They're they are pretty. They, they, yeah, they actually know they're more are, expensive in the game. They're like three hundred fifty. They are. Credits. They are more. <laughs> yeah. So three hundred fifty credits is now thirty five. Thirty five dollars. <laughs> but my the one I want to buy and it's on deposit right now. So I guess it's not available at this time. Is ninety nine dollars. Wow. A sovereign reaper ship. Now the the Reapers are the bad guys, but this thing is massive, and I want it in my house. I want to look at it and laugh because I've paid that much. I can buy that. The Reapers are going to take us over. Um, watch, <laughs> just watch, just watch. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, I, this isn't really something you could buy. It's just something I kind of I went to the National Pro Wrestling Day, which, which of course we'll talk about at length over on Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, 
But I, I saw this come up. Uh, Dave, uh, uh, Bill Apter uh, uh, was there, uh, who's a, a pretty famous uh, wrestling photographer, and they had a... I don't, I don't know if he... I, I didn't get the venture out because we were, we were doing a booth there. But they were doing these green screen pictures, and I saw one. And, and this one I, I found since the show uh, that I didn't know they were doing. But they did one that's like a National Pro Wrestling Day, and it's an NES cartridge uh, wow. in the style of natural pro wrestling day so i thought that was pretty cool a little kind of geek out thing i found online um so i guess that was like one of the things they were doing with it uh so uh yeah i just want to throw that out there and, and it was, there's him with a couple of the girls that uh wrestled or managed and stuff um i know one's from aiw one other one's from like i think wrestling is fun uh so so yeah yeah so that, that was my kind of cool thing i found you know i have swaggy so if i would have known i would have picked one up so, cool all right hmm. what's up bobby Ch do you have anything? Uh, loot crate. Loot crate in general? Yes. <laughs> uh, for all your random nerd needs. How many um, how many loot crates have you received yet? Oh shoot. <laughs> six? Six of them? Wow. Um, six and what was your favorite month? I, oh. Uh it that's a toss up. Um there was January's or no, yeah, January's which was a Spider-Man lunchbox with uh, 20-sided dice. Um, and uh, I don't know if you, you, you guys probably have. I don't know if the listeners or viewers have. Uh, Hello Panda Snacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and do you not know what those are? No. Uh, Hello I Panda have no idea. Uh, are Asian, uh, basically, treats. Uh, they're little cracker... Okay, and, uh, I remember with chocolate these. Or strawberry. You, you can get these down the down the strip. Okay. Yeah. Um, and they're amazing. Mine lasted a whole forty five seconds after opening loot. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but uh, and then it came with a pack of, and I, I have to bring them over to show you. But they're uh, Nintendo themed zombie stickers. Ooh. Like uh, one of them is a rotted hand inside of a power glove. Nice. Um, oh. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, which was rad. amazing. Um, it's a tie be th between three now that I think about it. Uh, the first one, which had a bunch of uh, caffeine stuff in it, and uh, uh, the uh, Incredible Hulk cologne, which I still wear. Mm -hmm. It smells woodsy and aquatic. <laughs> um, it's called Smash. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, the the one I got, uh, the, there's this bracelet here that says geek on one side and gamer on the other side. I've, I haven't taken it off since I got it. Uh, it goes in the shower with me. It, it, it lives on me. Um, nice. But uh, the one that I got this in came with uh, a bottle opener that said Leet um, or Leet Hour, um, a stuffed uh, honey badger. That says honey badger don't care. Um, a stuffed uh, nerdy domo. Well, he was wearing the glasses and they're taped and everything. It's uh, that one is up there, one of my favorites. But uh, it, it's it's pretty much the highlight of my. It, it like it's one of the things that I'm starting to look forward to each month because I want to know what I got. I mean, I it's going to be enjoyable no matter what. It's like monthly Christmas for you. Yeah, like right, Christmas it is. Every month. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah lootcrate.com. Yeah, I'm going to have to sign up for that. Well, it, it's – and it's only it, – it ends up being $19, $19 or something like that. Uh, uh, the base price is 1337 $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, $
was called Saints Row the Third, and that se- and you tried to change that, <laughs> and you tried to change the system. You don't do that. Don't change the system, man. Don't do. You don't change do. Don't system. dare touch that system. Mm-mm. But the games have been progressively getting worse by the by every year I've played a THQ game, and I have played a THQ game literally every year being a wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. So, and hearing that that t- a take two, the guys who bought who have uh, NBA two K. The 2K series, I believe, is going to be working with the WWE now is awesome. Is Hopefully, they'll make a better game. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. You know Excellent. what I want. Mm. Dr. Dre doing mixtapes and running the show in WWE no. 14. No. Lego WWE. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. License. We're doing this again, aren't we? No, but it's the same company. That's why I said it. Yeah. Take oh, Two it does is. all the Lego games. No way. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Take oh. Two does all the Lego games that they've been releasing. That's awesome. Oh. Like Lego Batman, Lego Lord of the Rings. And they usually all of those. partner out. Like they, they partner out with like Lucas Films and w, and uh, uh-huh. and WB and whatever. Whenever they do a license, yep. They have the license already locked down. So uh-huh. <laughs> Mar- Marvel versus WWE. <laughs> WWE. That's the only, that's the only way that's going to work. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, uh, see, uh, that time I wasn't doing it to be a smart ass. I, it, that legitimately could happen. That could happen. Mm. I want it to happen. Well, it, another yeah. thing with this, um, Atari has to sell off all their older classic games like Pong. Um, they're selling off the rates to Pong, Pitfall, uh, Centipede, Asteroid. It's And they, they, I think what Atari's plan is, from what I read, I think they're going to focus more on um, iPhone games, mm-hmm. Android games, stuff like that. So it might be a step in the right direction. It's for not them. even. It's not even the original Atari. You know what I mean? I yeah, mean it, yeah. It's it's not. It hasn't been. It's been sold off how many times since the yeah. '80s? Um, so it, it, it's a shell of what we call Atari. It was Infogrames bought the license to the yeah. name and changed their name to it last time, right? Yeah, so, I, I mean, it doesn't even matter anymore. My only worry is that they're going to, like, uh, sell off all the rights and and all the all the Atari classics get split off so you won't get any cool packs with all those games anymore, the, the controller with all the games on it or something like that, you know? Now it's really, like, I, I mean, that's, that's my only concern there. They're uh, even selling the logo. What's that? They're even selling the logo. Yeah, like the which, Atari means, logo. which means somebody right. else is going to get it and... and who cares? It's just going to be a brand, you know. It's, yeah. it's a brand that's that's fallen out. Who thinks gets excited about Atari anymore? Now, do you think they're going to sell the rights to ET <laughs> and bury it in the desert? <laughs> I've got five bucks. Yeah. yeah. Who done? Who done? I'll see your five and raise you ten. Uh, that's too steep for me. <laughs> All right, Bobby. What else we got? All right, uh, our boss battle is back. Um, uh, this week's question. Who, well, uh, bleh. who is the most appropriate video game voice actor combination? Mm-hmm. Uh, Riz, go ahead. Most appropriate. Um, if who, who do you, you think is the best, basically? Oh. The right voice for the right character. The elusive man. Oh, oh, oh this is this is going to be like ones that are actually not. This isn't like a wish list. This yeah. Is, no, this, this is, is actually, actual, what actually happened. Actual, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, who who fits perfectly with? If you're not ready, Riz, I can go. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, the black cop uh, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was an awesome fit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, thinking back, I can't picture anyone else doing that voice. Nope. All right, Bobby, you can go first. Cause- okay, um, I picked Wheatley from uh, Portal 2. Uh, Steven Merchant does an excellent job as Wheatley. You start off the game loving him, and, and he's such a charming British robot. And by the end, you're just like, you're still loving him, but you're also hating him because of the big twist in the game, and it's just, mm-hmm. it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect voice for the character. Sorg? You know, uh, and, and, you know, not to be, it's just the buzz in my head uh, with the question, uh, but again, on the Portal 2, like, the most recent, like, that was the voice that really kind of hit me. Um... Was uh, again, you know, Portal to the uh, the uh, uh, 
the professor. Cave Johnson? Cave oh, Johnson, yeah. yeah. Who's like, he, he, you know, he played J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man, in the yep. Sam Raimi uh, Spider-Man movies. Uh, he played, uh, he's in those State Farm commercials uh, these days. Mm. He's been in other stuff. Uh, you know, a really good, you know, actor. It's all that around. guy! Yeah, it's that guy. Yeah. Oh, it's shit! It's completely that guy. But it's yep. that guy. Um, that guy was on Oz as the uh, the Aryan Brotherhood guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, other than that, other than that's why I like him so much. Oh, <laughs> happy Black History Month. Um, anyway, Cave, oh. Cave, no, uh, not. I mean, I like him because I love because he's a good. Yeah, he's a good actor. Yeah, and yeah, I never yeah. put two and two together. He's been, he's been in a lot. He's been in a ton of stuff. Um, oh, yeah, and, and, and again, kind of an off the back of my head. I mean, hey. J.K. Simmons is his name. J.K. Simmons. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's right. Cave Jones um, here. The fact that they brought in the the pinnacle Batman voice for Arkham Asylum. Yeah. 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 You know, the, 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 the both, guy from the animated series. Both pinnacle Batman voices from Batman. Yeah. And Mark Hamill. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, it was great because even though it was a different style and I love the different style in, in Arkham Asylum, uh, it was still based in this is the Batman I know. Right. You know. So I've actually had mine for a while now. Okay. <laughs> and again, I'm going on the one thing that I know and really respect. And that is great acting by a great actor. Martin Sheen. As the elusive man, Mr. President. If you, I, if Sork, you've played Mass Effect two, correct? Uh, not two. No, no, no. Bobby, you've played Mass Effect two. Yes, I know yes, you yes. have. Yes. Yep. And who do you? Can you picture anybody else playing the elusive man? No, nah, I can't. Anybody else? It's his voice, voice yeah. his is the look to him. Everything just fits for Martin Sheen to do that part, and he nailed it. Is that this fellow? That's that fellow right there. Okay. Because if you think about it, Martin Sheen's voice isn't that menacing that you wouldn't suspect, you know? But mm -hmm. now every time – see, this is why I like this question because now when you listen – because every time you hear something in a video game or you see – and then you see something res hearing and then you hear that voice – in something other than a video game, you you go. Wait, I, that's that guy from the like Chachi said. That's that guy. <laughs> but I know Martin, that. I, I try not to. Uh... But now every time I see like, uh, shoot, what was it? Oh, Wall Street. I think. <laughs> wait, no, that wasn't Wall. Shoot, that was was, was that, that was Michael Street? Douglas. That was Michael Douglas. Yeah, was Michael I'm getting Douglas. those two confused. Platoon or something like that. How about Spawn? Spawn. Apocalypse <laughs> Now. Apocalypse Now. It, does, it doesn't matter because now every time I see him, I'm going to say, that's the elusive man. Yeah. And I should not degrees. trust this guy because he might be indoctr indoctrinated. Six degrees from Martin Sheen. The West Wing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's also Mr. Uncle ben. President. Yep. Mr. He's President. Spider Thank you, Mr. You President. Uh, I try not to look up who does a voice in a video game. But I don't want to know that side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when until I you get somebody down, like Samuel L. Jackson, it's so obvious. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it was, it was, it was one of those things where I'm like, oh, that's Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Like there's no doubt about it in my mind. Like I know 100 percent that that's Samuel L. Jackson. All I need is him to say motherfucker once, right? And uh, and that would just be the icing on the cake. Yeah. But and, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. But I mean, yeah, I I don't want to know. The vo like, like the actor behind the voice. Because Most when the I sit down North to play anyways. the video game, it's it's not oh well this famous actor so and so did this voice. It's oh well that's what this character sounds like. Kind of breaks it down right. for you. Yeah. yeah. And that 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 story that Cat did about uh, Caden from Mass Effect Three. I forget his name already, mm -hmm. um, but he. When I saw that he was on shows that I know I've actually watched before, mm -hmm. I'm like, "Oh, that's that guy." And but I still don't know like anything else about him, and except for that's Caden or that's the guy that I know who does stuff on that video game. And that's what 
it, and, and unless it's like Samuel L. Jackson or or uh, Martin Sheen or something like that, you're not going to get that ex- it, that that point. You're just going to get oh, that's that guy, and you're just going to say okay. That's cool. Right. But but with Martin Sheen and Samuel L. Jackson, well, Samuel L. Jackson's a different case because you don't go, oh, that's that guy. I, all I can think about is him playing the co- that the black cop in San Andreas. <laughs> but right. with Martin that, Sheen. That's the last thing that you would probably think about Samuel L. Yeah. Jackson doing. Yeah, 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 at this point. Yeah. But with Martin Sheen, you're like, I can't, because it was so menacing and so grimy that all you can think about was, He's about to do something. <laughs> and it, it, it just seems like he had that voice that fit perfectly for that scene or scenes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that uh, does it for this week's episode of Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. Um, don't forget to play the challenge this week, which is uh, Slender Man or Slender or Slender uh, Rising. Slender, name, Slender Rising. Slender Rising. Whatever name it's going by. Um, <laughs> um, and let us know what you thought of the game on uh, Twitter. Um, I, we'd like to have a uh, fan mail section coming up uh, sometime. We have to set up an email account, but uh, we haven't done that yet. But hit us up with our questions on Twitter. And we'll, we'll, we'll um, our Twitter handle is at InsertCoinTB. Um, so, or, or you can tweet one of us or yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Chachi, one of us. You, can annoy, you can annoy him. But for, <laughs> but before you annoy Chachi, go donate to Chachi Plays. And yeah, one Chachi week. Plays coming up this week. Chachi, you want to say anything about it? Nope. Uh, okay, good uh, job, Chachi. There's, well, a, there's about uh, 16, <laughs> 17 hour slots left. And four Thank entries you. for Chachi. Street Fighter if you're interested. Uh, the tournament entry has been lowered to 10 bucks. And I'm, um, sor- I'm sorry to say, the Mario Kart tournament is over already. Ah, uh, you think? Everyone keeps trash talking. You think? About... I don't care. It's it's over. It's hey, done with. Uh, you better. Is, I, I let me let me point something out to you. What? Um, there's only one person in that tournament that I've seen play Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she is surprisingly good. Well, hey, you haven't seen me and my friend Josh play. Are you guys if playing? We it. <laughs> if we if we can make it, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> well, I need to know. It's, I know. I have um, to ask him. I haven't talked to him. But yeah, mm-hmm. our slots, uh, $25. Uh, tournament slots, $10. ChachiPlays.com. Every little penny helps. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, good show, everybody, and we'll see you next week.